When you develop a C++ application, you write functions like this. At some point, you will have a lot of functions in your code and it will get quite messy. Also, and this is another problem, how could you possibly use a function you've defined here in another file of your application? Well, in this tutorial, I will show you how to clearly organize your C++ functions by creating a header file for the prototypes and an implementation file for the definition of the functions. And this is going to solve both problems. So I'm going to start with this program. So we have one function, double number, one function Celsius to Fahrenheit degrees, okay, that we use in the main to make some computation and to print the result, okay? So to organize the code, I am first going to create a new file, okay? So here I'm going to do new file. I'm going to name it, for example, my computations.hp. So for the name of the file, you should use something that makes sense. Okay, so here I'm gonna put my computations for this program. I name it my computations with an underscore, okay? Make sure that the name makes sense uh, in your application. And then dot .hpp, which means this is going to be a header file for C++. Okay, and before I do anything from this, and I put anything from this to this, I'm going to add include guards, okay, very important. And to add include guards, I'm going to do this, if and def, and then I'm going to uh, create a define, okay? Which basically to create a define, you can just put the complete name of the file here, all uppercase with underscores as a separation. So for example, my computations HPP. So if and def define with the same, and then you add another one, and if. So this is uh, well required in every HPP file that you create. Why is that? Because this is simply going to make sure that this file is only going to be included once, okay? Because later on we will see how to include that file into uh, other files. And so when you include a file, it's going to be completely copied, okay? So the code is going to be copied. If you don't have include guards, the code is going to be copied every time and then the program that you compile is going to be huge. By using this best practice, we make sure that the library here, the uh, HPP file, is only going to be included once because that's all we need. Okay, so if and def with a define and then define the same and if. And everything you put is uh, between the define and the end if. Okay, so don't put any code after that. This is the last line of the file. So now what do we put inside this HPP file? Well, we're gonna put the prototypes of uh, the functions. Okay, what is the prototype? Well, I'm simply going to copy this, put it here, add a semicolon, and that's the prototype. That's it. So the prototype is the declaration of the function. So the return type can be int, double, void, anything the name of the function, the parameters of the function, and semicolon. I go back here, I copy this, I put it here, and semicolon. And that's it, pretty much it, for the header file. Now, for example, if you were using stuff like vectors or strings or stuff like that, you may also want to add include here, okay? So you can add includes in this part, so you can make sure that a vector, string, or anything else is going to be found uh, when uh, the compiler actually reads this file. I'm going to save this. And now that's it for the header file. I'm going to create here a new file that I'm going to name my computations.cpp. So I name it exactly the same as the header file, okay? But the extension here is cpp for C++. And this is going to be the implementation file, okay? This is the interface, this is the implementation. What do we put in the implementation file? Well, first of all, we are going to include the uh, header file. To include the header file, you do include like this, but then you don't use brackets, you use quotes like that. And my 
computations.hpp. You can see I have the auto completion here. So in the CPP file, you include the HPP file. And then for each function that you have declared here, so for each prototype, you will write the implementation of the function. And what is the implementation of the function? Well, that's just all of that. So I'm just going to copy this here and that's it. So we have, for example, int double number here. We have the prototype and we have implementation of uh, the function in the CPP file. I'm going to save this. And well, that's pretty much it for the implementation file. Now I'm going to go back to my main uh, file. And so now that my functions are actually uh, declared here and defined here, I'm going to just remove that. So now we have a problem. What is the problem is that while well, double number doesn't exist and Celsius to Fahrenheit doesn't exist here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to include the header file. Okay, so I'm going to do include my computations.hpp with also a quote here. And now it's working. So we have successfully put the functions uh, inside uh, different files, okay, separating the interface from the implementation. And we are also able to directly use those functions inside other files. So the two problems were that those functions were going to bloat the code and add a lot of messy code, which is not the case actually now because we have a very clear code files here. If you need more functions that are related to computations, you can put them here. If you need more functions that are uh, for a different purpose, you can create another set of C++ and uh, header files, okay? And so your main code is actually quite clean. And the second problem was that, well, uh, those functions, you could not use them in any file you want. Here, now that you have this, if you create different C++ file, you could uh, every time include mycomputations.hpp and then you have access to double number and Celsius to Fahrenheit. All right, and now that your code is correctly organized, which is actually what I suggest you to do from the beginning, to not write uh, functions like this directly in the main, but just to create an HPP and CPP file. So now that you have those files, let's say that you want to add a new function. So you're not gonna write the function here. You're gonna start with the HPP file and you're gonna add the prototype first. What do we want to do? So for example, we want to do a computation for the area of a rectangle. So let's say double compute rectangle area. So for this, we need two parameters, double length and double width. I create the prototype here. Then I'm going to just copy this. I'm going to add it here and I'm going to do the definition of the function. Okay, so prototype here, I take the prototype, I remove the semicolon, I add curly brackets and I can uh, write the code inside the function, which is going to be return length times width. Okay, so that's a very simple function. I can save this and I can save this. And now in my main, because I already include my computations, I can do, for example, let's say double area is equal to Compute rectangle area. You can see I have the other completion in VS Code with let's say 3.4 and 5.6. And this is going to work. So now that you have a clean organization for your code, adding a new function is going to be quite easy. If you like this video, subscribe to get more tutorials like this in the future. Also, check out my online courses so you can learn C++ step by step in an efficient way by practicing and directly going to the point. Links in the description. Alright, thank you for watching. See you in the next tutorial or in one of my courses.